Okay, we're gonna do one more quick question. Okay. And then we're and then we're gonna wrap it up. Okay. Hopefully this one's super heavy. Hello, Loveless. After a breakup from a 15-year relationship, I took my cats and moved about 20 minutes away from my prior residence. Now, that's a log line. I'd love to see that I love prior residence. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) Where I lived. The former (laughs) owner of my new home is a cat lover and is married to a retired veterinarian. The former owner of my new home. Okay. I think she picked my offer because our cats looked identical. The offer to buy the house. As she talked, uh, as she walked me around the property, she warned me about the neighbor cat Tigger. Tigger is a notori- is notorious in the neighborhood for causing drama and killing wildlife. He also harassed her cat so badly that it changed one of her cat's <laughs> behavior. She's she and I still text. She's lovely and unfortunate. I love she called the, the said that the cat was causing drama. It caught, it changed it completely changed one of her cat's behavior. That's a, that is a it cat traumatized Brian. her cat, Brian. That's a cat's cat. That's a cat owner's description of a, what happened to a cat. <laughs> yeah. Is what that is. Fast forward. I've been living here for over a year, and my lovely new partner Matt moved in during quarantine. He absolutely loves my cats, and they love him. He better since moving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tigger regularly comes by to kill songbirds, shit by my house, kill rabbits, harass my boys through the windows. Oh, and he has sprayed my back door at least five times. Ew. Ew. He is trouble. Now my dumb Hugo boy may have a peanut brain. Now my dumb Hugo boy, these cat people are crazy. (laughs) He just wants me to understand we're talking about the cat now. Now, my dumb Hugo boy may have a peanut brain, but he's very protective of us. Recently, he has been peeing in places he isn't supposed to as a response to Tigger. I'm at my wit's end. Okay. So he thinks the cat's mocking his territory to let Tigger know that it's his. And I think he has a nervous pussy for a cat. That's what I think. Okay. Okay. I know I'm not the only homeowner that That's hates my, my this cat. Said, I, I think you might have a nervous pussy. <laughs> a nervous pussy. <laughs> For a cat. I know I'm not the only homeowner that hates this cat. The former owner told me she confronted Tigger's owner multiple times, but he refuses to do anything about it. A week ago, I snapped and asked the city to come and find and detain this asshole cat. They said I'd have to live have to live trap it and bring it in. But here's the problem. Tigger's owner is an elderly man living alone, and I'm sure the cat is a big part of his life. But it's making mine hell. Am I doing the Midwestern thing by not confronting his, this homeowner personally? Or am I right in assuming he'll do nothing to keep his cat indoors? Ideally, I want this cat physically removed from the neighborhood. Please, please, please let me know what you think I should do. Best, Joe and Matt and Dudley and Hugo attached us some photos of my sweet baby angels. Oh, and you don't have to forward those to me at all. (laughs) (laughs) All Uh, good. I think Brian said when he changed his argument in the last one to who cares? (laughs) Like this would be, (laughs) this is where I'd be coming in hot with the, let the old man live. I'm with you. I, <laughs> yeah. If like, you were I renting, it. I would say move. I mean, because. Yeah, if, I, if, if you're, exactly. If you're renting, I'd say move. And since you're owning, I'll say wait it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wait it out uh, and let the let this old man pass in peace. Like, let him live with Tigger uh, for as long as he can. And just, the cat's not fucking up your cats, it sounds like. They're, he's killing songbirds and pissing where... He sounds like what he's doing is extreme cat behavior. I it just is want extreme, you to know. I mean, truly. <laughs> As a cat lady, I just want you to know what you're complaining about Tigger doing is what cats would do if they didn't have to be called hu- peanut brained Hugo boy. Right. Like if they were rem- if they were allowed out of the house, this is what peanut brained little Hugo boy would do too. Completely. So let, uh, uh, let. Let Tigger live. I'm so. Should I say Tigger with a soft R? I feel like I'm touching on something. <laughs> it is a. It is a word that is. Uh, well, it's from Winnie the Pooh. It's from yes, Winnie the Pooh. It is from Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Here's the thing. There's a whole lot of inherited drama in this letter. This entire drama with this cat is taking place. 
between the former owner, the the new owner, the husband, Peanut Brain Hugo Dudley, who we didn't hear a word about, got absolutely no attention whatsoever. Seems because Dudley's thriving brain. in this. <laughs> Dudley's a genius. Dudley uh, loves that Hugo's going out of his mind right now. 